Hello everybody. In uh, this video, I will explain you everything that you need to prepare the uh, to prepare the third task, the determination of the impact of river restoration measures um, for one DWSPM model. I open my profile, uh, my project, and what I what uh, we want to do in the third task, or what you should do, is you should calculate the impact of a river restoration measure that was developed um, in the um, in the lecture nature-oriented hydraulic engineering and there the straight water course, course was replaced by a meandering water course and um, of course this has an impact of uh, on, on the flow velocities and on the water level and what we want to do now is we want to calculate the impact of that and <coughs> it was done um, downstream of, of, of this bridge at two kilometers downstream of this bridge so from this profile um, two kilometers downstream, let's say from here to here. And these profiles <coughs> need to be adapted uh, to calculate the impact. And there are two possibilities, or there are two main impacts um, of a river restoration uh, or of a meander on the flow. So one is um, that due to the, the meandering water course, we get secondary flow uh, in, the, in the meanders. And the secondary flow leads to a loss of kinetic energy, which needs to be considered. Another thing is that we uh, make, uh, that we have, uh, when we have before a straight water course and now we have a meandering water course, of course we have a longer, uh, the water course becomes longer, longer. And uh, this leads um, to a, um, a longer distance where um, the roughness has an effect on the flow. So we have an additional, additional roughness loss by this due to a longer water course. <coughs> and uh, what we want to do now is we want to calculate it. And for this, um, I will take all the, the, the necessary profiles. I make a right click on it. Ah, it's not, I have to do it one by one. That's, I make one and I make a duplication of every profile. So now I have my duplicated profile here. <coughs> and of course, I need to do it for all profiles where I want to to calculate the impact and this one duplicate <coughs> so now I did it for all the profiles, and I make a right click and say display profile. So at the moment it's the very same, or oh, let me remove this, the same profile <coughs> than the other one, so it's just a duplication. But I, what I can do now is I can add a new attribute, and I do it here in this um, outline. So for my profile I can click on the screen plus, and I can add an attribute called Sinoosity. I do so, and here I get the new attribute. And for this, I have to define some values. So this code, so I can either say, so these are the two losses that I, that I mentioned. So one is the loss due to um, the secondary flow, and the other one is the loss to the longer water course and the higher effect of roughness. So we want to calculate both. Our channel type <coughs> is not compact. <coughs> it's gegliedert, so it's German. Um, so it's, it's, it's because uh, since we have a big flat plane here, um, which is flooded, um, this is not a compact profile, but a gegliedert in German profile. So for this, we have to define, on the one hand, the sinuosity. You did it in the lecture nature-oriented flood protection that you calculated. Um, for the students that don't or did not do it, um, we can assume a sinuosity of 2. And now we have to add a linear factor, and this factor means uh, how much longer is the is the flow path now compared to the um, compared to the flow path before? But uh, in this case, so theoretically, we have to should uh, should set two here, also two because um, um, we have a sinuosity of two. But when we think about and when we look at it uh, here, and our flow at our profile, um, that we have a big flat plane here, and we want to calculate the impact for a flat event then um, during flood event, everything is flooded. So and it doesn't matter 
um, where I have my, my, my profile here, or where I have my, my river tube, um, during flood, the whole um, flood plain will be flooded, so which means I have not a very big extension um, of my flow part, so which means it makes sense to set it to 1. <coughs> and um, I have to do, the, to do the same for all the profiles here. Um, again, click on it, plus Scenosity, and say 2, uh, no, sorry, 1 and 2. And here again, no. plus immunity. and the last one at Sinosity 1 and 2. <coughs> so now I have here also my information that I added in your attribute and now I go back to the water level calculation perspective and here I have my new, my duplicated profiles with an additional attribute. Now I want to bring them in the correct order. I do it in a way that I click on profiles, make a right click, say um, sort features, and I want to sort by station, and now it's done. And what we see here now, we have our two profiles in a row, so they are the same profiles, and the only difference is that I here I have a scenosity. <coughs> so that's it, and the river strings, um, we have here our main river string, so when, when we look at it, which profiles are inside, of course there are the profiles without Xenosity inside. And the new profiles, they are not inside, so they are not, not checked here. What we want to do now is we want to create exactly the same section here, but where not the normal profile is inside, but um, the, the, the new profile with Xenosity. So I make right click, say duplicate, and add Xenosity. And of course, I have to make sure that it's inside. So I uncheck this and check the new one. So here, oh, it's not refreshing. So let's go to another one and go back, see if it's re refreshed. Sometimes it looks like it's not refreshing here um, when it this this can happen and I do it by closing the WSPM GMV. I'm asked for save. Yes, and when he's saving, he's refreshing. Uh, the software is refreshing, I reopen it, and now it can look again to the river string with my scenosity. And now it should be no it's not. Sorry for do, uh, doing it again. Okay, now they are inside. Okay, um, now I have to create again a new calculation case. So I want to calculate the impact on HQ1. I make here again, right click, I duplicate it. And this is not HQ1 status quo, that is, this is sinuosity, the impact. And of course, here I have to link the correct river strings with Xenosity. And when I did it, I make a right click, start calculation, OK. Now it's finished. And here I have new results for HQ1 Xenosity. I can open it, say, open the length section. <coughs> no, there's some refreshing issue here. Ah, no, it's not. Sorry, it's not checked here. 
that's what makes the blue, and that's the problem. Uh, check velocity, water level. Okay, so this is um, for the sinuosity, and if I want to compare it, for example, to the HQ1 without sinuosity, I close my status quo, open it, and if I switch in between, I can see here in this area, I can see the impact on the water level and especially on the flow velocity, which is uh, lowered very, uh, very much. So here we can see the impact on the one hand on the water level and the other hand on the flow velocity. Okay, that's it. That's all the necessary information you need. And I wish you good luck by um, finishing task number three.